YouTube, it's your girl T. Cole, and I'm back again with another hair coloring tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a Crayola inspired wig for a client that I have. And we're going to get started with some honey brown dye. I'm going to add that about a few drops of some conditioner. And you're just going to keep adding brown dye to your liking. Um, the darker your client is, the more brown dye you add. So I'm just going to mix that in with the conditioner and then we're going to gently apply that to the lace. So I went ahead and added a little more because I wanted it a little, a tad bit darker. And just bear with me y'all because I don't know if I'm coming down with something or if it's allergies. I got my nose like real runny this morning, but just bear with me y'all. So when applying, y'all just make sure that you apply very gently and you're not pressing it in because then it'll be a complete disaster and you'll have to fix it. So just make sure you apply very gently. Anytime that I work with a 613 wig, I always tone my knot just to give it more of a skin-like effect when installing um, so you don't see any colored knots or blonde knots it just looks way better so big 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 suggestion is to always tone the 613 knots So off camera I went ahead and added two layers of got to be gel and two layers of got to be free spray, let it dry and then I sectioned off where my rainbow patch is gonna be. So I'm going to be using the watercolor method today and I'm going to be using two bottles of Adore Clover and one bottle of Sweet Mint and I'm going to start with the Sweet Mint first. I forgot to mention this part to you guys, but I did actually tone my wig off camera. So a little backstory, y'all. I forgot. Like, literally forgot. But I had to finish this wig, and I had ran out of purple shampoo, so I used a very, very, very tiny bit of purple dye with some hot water, mixed that, and I got rid of that yellow tone out of my wig. So you might see a little purple dot on the wig, but... We're gonna cover that, we're gonna fix that real quick. So I'm gonna dip the hair, make sure every strand is getting covered, but we're gonna make sure that we don't get any dye on that section that I sectioned off for the rainbow patch.
the same water we're going to add our first bottle of adore clover and follow the same steps but the only thing that I did differently this time was i allowed the roots only a little bit of the color touch the roots of that section that we sectioned off very minimal that's the best way i could explain it if that makes sense to you guys um i literally let the let the color like literally touch the roots just a little bit So originally I thought I was going to be only using one and a half bottle of the, the clover, but I ended up just using the whole two bottles. and the color for about a good 15 to 20 minutes so this is pretty much everything that i use for the rainbow patch and when adding the dye i basically eyeballed it to my liking to get the color that i wanted with someone you are with someone you are did not like this one this was not the the pink I was going for so I started all over and used a different color pink that I had to get the color that I wanted so this is the color that I was actually going for and I used the neon pink instead <laughs> basically did the same thing again um, once I mixed it I instantly knew that this is not the color that I was going for 
so we swapped that out and started over again and this is the actual color that I used to get the purple that I wanted. colors that I use for my rainbow patch and that's why it's important to watch the whole video because I don't made two mistakes already swapped out two colors and yeah color that I'm going to be using is yellow, then I'm going to proceed with orange, then pink, then purple, and then we're going to do the reverse. And I had to use what I had to use, y'all, because I don't have a thousand brushes, so we made it do what it do with what I had. This is why it's important to watch the whole video um i didn't want the pink to be too dark but i wanted to make sure that it actually did show so off camera i did add one more drop to that mixture of the neon pink just to make it just a tad bit just a little bit more pigmented like the cool blue light 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 
for about an hour like literally an hour and make sure that those knots were still untouched given skin this is what I mean when I say tone your knots so moving on to washing and condition so I rinsed the wig completely out with cold water whenever you're working with color wigs you want to make sure that this color does not spread so you always use cool water cool cold water and um i'm not gonna lie to y'all my hands were freezing so i had to like take a minute and then get back to it and then i conditioned this wig
custom wig for a client and y'all let me know just let me know what you guys think Bye.